Halloween is coming up next week, and what better way to get into the spirit of things than with a good ghost story? <laughs> That's right. So local author John Bryan has lots of them. He joins us now along with Lisa Bryan, who worked on Ghosts of Pocatello. Thank you, both of you, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. What made you decide to look into the histories of the spirits of Pocatello? Well, the book is actually a compilation about seven years of uh, paranormal research we've done in the area, and it was we've we've got all these great stories, and so it just made sense to write the book. Huh. Mm -hmm. And so you do that, and you do it in an inter interesting way. Rather, rather than mm -hmm. say, uh, okay, here's a story about this, here's a story about this, you really get involved in the stories almost from a first-person perspective from the people who told you the story, kind of taking that perspective. And so you're kind of walking the people through the halls of Pocatello High School or through exactly. the auditorium at Fraser Hall. What uh, made you decide to take that approach to the book? Well, first, most of the stories are first-hand accounts that we've collected over the years and so I just retold them the way that they were told to us mm -hmm. and so uh, and some of the stories are actually about us too um, <laughs> chapter 14 is about my cousin Brett and his experience <laughs> okay so so you were telling me just before we came out of the break that there were some great stories from Idaho State University at Fraser Hall that you actually saw the ghost yes <laughs> um, we investigated Fraser Hall for an activity we did for them and while we were there, I saw a man up on the balcony with a windbreaker and he ran across and I could hear, hear his keys jingling. Then when he gave the presentation, uh, an elderly lady came up and told me that it was her husband who was a usher at Fraser Hall for many years and she really believes that's him. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That really now, is Lisa, you took a lot of pictures in the book. Tell me about your experiences taking pictures. I mean, how do you know what to shoot and where to shoot? And... You know, it's really about just shooting everything. Okay. Like, I, you know, we love the history and we love being in these buildings and different things and so I take a lot of pictures and so over the time that we've done that, we, we just take a lot of pictures, a lot of different things. You know, obviously we're hoping to capture something in those pictures, right. um, but we do just take a lot of pictures just so that we have pictures of the space and things like that. So it wasn't as <laughs> hard for me. My job was a little easier. <laughs> Not so much of the writing part. Now, in addition to writing the book, uh, you guys do tours, uh, a haunted tour of Pocatello, mm -hmm. correct? Absolutely. How can people get involved in this if they are so inclined to be scared? <laughs> well, there's uh, one more night left, but there's two tours tomorrow. Okay. One at 3 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock. If they want tickets, they can uh, get in touch with Old Town Pocatello offices on Main Street, and they can get tickets for our last tour, which has been really good this year. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, I heard you say that some people have had to, like, spit out a lot because they were a little scared. It got a little too real for them. Yeah, we've had a lot of activity, a lot of activity this year on the tour, so. Oh, that's wow. cool. Now, where can people get Ghosts of Pocatello? Uh, they can get it online. Uh, they can get it on their Kindle, on their Nook, on their iPad. Um, they can buy it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and many, many online retailers okay. here in town. Costco, I know, has it. Idaho Unlimited and the bookstores downtown. Okay, Excellent. and I know that you've done some uh, book signings. Are you planning to do any more? Tomorrow morning tomorrow? at Costco. Okay. And then also, uh, if anybody's interested, tonight at 6 o'clock, Marshall Library. We're doing a presentation for the kids, but adults oh. are welcome too. Okay. Oh, Very fantastic. Good. The thing I really liked about this book is it not it's not just, you know, if you're into ghost stories, it's, you know, fantastic read, mm -hmm. but it also gives a really good history of Pocatello and where Pocatello mm -hmm. came from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you'd like to think that, you know, your town is the best town ever. Well, there's some sort of details <laughs> about how Pocatello started. And so yeah. did you enjoy going into that historical part of it too? That's uh, one of the reasons why we do it. We love the history, and I was really excited. I found out that uh, the books out, sold out in Oregon in the Barnes and Nobles. In so, Oregon, yeah. So okay. I mean, it's doing great all over. <laughs> well, that is fantastic, John, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining You're us. Welcome. And, and uh, do you have a website that they can go to to get some details about the tour? Um, you, you can go to Old Town's uh, website. We have one okay. at, at spiroparanormal.com okay. or go to Facebook and just like us okay. and we put all the stuff there. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining us this Thank afternoon. You. Good Thank luck you. with it all. And yeah. still to come, local blogger Jen Wilhelm will show us some cute ways to decorate using sheet music.